接下来关注在浙江慈溪市进行的呃一场比赛啊，这场比赛是由金鱼男篮对阵美国传奇巨星队。那么不少 NBA 的巨星就表示啊，不想只打这一场热身赛，还想来到中国打球。西市体中心，我们见到了五十一岁还喷着一头红发的大虫罗德曼，举手投足间，他那份骨子里的桀骜不驯和特立独行还是展露无遗。同时还见到了眼神有点迷离却依然清澈的艾佛森。比赛的最大看点，当属两个身披三号球衣的球员同场竞技，马布里和艾佛森，美职篮九六一代的黄金双枪，在中国再次碰撞。老马一边享受着篮球的快乐，一边让埃弗森多了解一些中国的篮球文化。It's good playing against against Iverson and, and Rodman and all the other guys that came here.、Um, I think it's good for basketball here in China. Also, I think you know it gives it gives guys like Allen Iverson an opportunity to see the the love that he has here in China, as I said before.、Um, It's good to see him out there playing basketball. You know, I hope he comes to China and play basketball. You know, hopefully there's a team out here that wants me to come out here and, and play. And you know, I, I'll have to you know, think about it, but I'm sure it, 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 it's definitely a possibility. I would, I would love the opportunity. 埃弗森能否来中职篮打球，暂时还没有答案。但北京队的小伙子们是真刀真枪的与巨星队过招。这场比赛对于陈世忠来说意义非常，因为埃弗森是东子的偶像。在二十七分钟的出场时间里，东子与偶像来了一个疯狂的对位。今年我感觉太幸福了，今年刚从冠军梦醒来，现在又进入了梦中，又感觉又做了一场梦。而在敏指导看来。一个有着卫冕中职篮总冠军梦想的球队，不能仅停留在追逐偶像的层面上。年轻队员们的表现应该更有血性。可能这场也赖我，可能觉得这比赛，可能觉得大家，呃，享受一下篮球，压力别太大了。但是看来还是得该做的工作还是要做，不管什么比赛了。一个月没有正常的训练的北京队，的确需要一些时间找回比赛的感觉。有了一个赛季的合作的老马，似乎最能了解敏指导的心思。Coach, he wants he wants us to play a certain way, win or lose. So there's a standard on how we're supposed to play as a team. And the younger guys, you know, he felt like they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Beijing Times.